This is Chris from Fanatec and in this video we are going to learn how to add quiz and surveys to our site using the quiz and survey master plugin. To do that we need to go over to the left where it says plugin we are going to click on add new and on the plugin search bar we are going to type quiz. And this is the one we are going to use quiz and survey master it will allow us to create some quiz and surveys in a manner aligned to the compact form and such. So we are going to click on install now. Then we are going to click on activate. There we are. Now we are going to scroll down to the bottom and in the QSM here is the quiz and survey master plugin. So we are going to the settings first. And here we have several options on the main settings. Allow the usage of tracking. Disable the collecting and storing IP address. Disable quiz posts from being searched. Disable the quiz archive. Delete all the data related to the QS QSM compilation. Process the emails in the background, yes or no. The quiz euro is low. The post type plural names, quizzes and surveys. The Facebook app ID. The name for the emails and the emails where the mails come from, the items per page in question bank pagination, and new templates for any result or a new. So we are going to leave those as they are, and we are going to the quizzes and survey here. And we are going to create a new one here by clicking on add new. And here we have options to create it, from templates, simple quiz, theme based, and a survey here. We could create it from scratch. So we are going to create a simple quiz for the example. And we have the form, quiz, survey, and simple form. The grade system could be correct and incorrect, points or both. And if it is required, the users to be logged into the site and show the progress data. So we are going to give it a name to the quiz, quiz number one, and we are going to click on create quiz. And here we have our page, page one. We have need to type our question here because it's the vertical multiple choice the question type we have several options file upload date horizontal multiple choice drop down should answer multiple response paragraph text number of in captcha horizontal multiple response fill the blank and polar so we are going to use the vertical multiple choice for the Example and the answer time it could be rich answers or text answers and we can label it to be required as well. We can add categories and we have advanced options for the common fields, it could be small or large text, and we can add heights to the question. So we are going to create our question here. Question one. And we can add a description here to the question. Description one. And we can add the different answers to our survey. So we are going to write answer one. And this is going to be the correct answer. So we are going to add two more answer two. And we are going to add an answer three. Answer three. And here we can create a new question, or we could create a new page altogether. So we are going to create a new question, and the new question is going to be to add, for example, the date, and the question is going to be date. And here the user will have to input the date to the, the the number of the date and submit it. So we are going to save the question. 
now we have two questions and we are going to move to the compact option here and here we can add some fields to the compact email for example we can add a label here and it could be used for the email name business and phone so we can add it to require and we can add some more fields so we are going to move to text and here we can change the message display before the quiz the message display before the comment box is enabled the message display at the end of the quiz the message display if user has tried to quiz too many times if the user is no long the date and so on and we have some variables here we can add and welcome to your quiz name so we're going to leave that on and the label for the summit button the previous and next one can be changed here and the validation messages or required fees please complete and so on invalid may not invalid may address blah, blah blah and so on we can change it all here and for the comment fields the hints and the correct answers message and the wrong can be changed here so we are going to move to options and here we can change the type of the quiz from the survey or simple form we can change the grading system as well show the progress bar require the users to be logged in the questions shown per page the time limit if we want to add any for submit after time expires skip validation when time expires and limit attempts limit entries limit the number of questions quiz dates and here we can select a time for the quiz to start and end on the side we can activate the questions to be random and select the categories for the random questions contact form position show before the quiz or after the quiz end show the compact form to load users enable comments show the question numbers save responses disable the changes on answer so work with multiple choices question only this will allow the user to change the question at class for correct and incorrect answers disable the alt the auto field for contact info display the category name on the front end show result inline retake the quiz show the current page number delete the answer disable the description and quiz result page yes or no or disable the score on the next previous button click and we can have an animation and the euro logo if we want we will use the default logo if left free so we are going to move to the next option the emails and here we can change the emails that will be sent to the users that had completed the survey here so we can add a condition total point elements is equal to number or is not equal greater than or less than and so on and we can add various conditions we can change the questions answers on the email here and we can add the user email as a replay to and here we can add more conditions assign the mail on the answers as well so we are going to move to the research page which is more works mostly like the emails we can add a condition here to show the result page that show that should be shown when the conditions are met and here we can change thanks for submitting your spawn you can edit this message on the result tab so we are going to delete this part right here and leave me thank you for submitting your response or it could be redirect the use or it could redirect the user to the euro below and we can add it right here so we're going to save the results and move to a style tab and here we can change the style to the primary analysis no two twice and gray and custom and we can add some custom style CSS 
So now we are going to move to the dashboard and I mean the quizzes in survey, sorry for that. And we have our trees number one here and we are going to copy the show code here. So we are going to click here and we will copy it and we are going to move to the side and see and see how it looks. And we are going to the top and we are going to click on edit with Elementor. Here we are now we are going to scroll down to an open section, this one, and in the widget search bar we are going to type text and we are going to add a WordPress text and on the text we are going to paste the show code by pressing the C, the left control and the B minus and here we are we have our survey here and we are going to click on the preview changes to see how it works and we are going to scroll to the survey and here we are going to welcome to the quiz number one we have question one the description here and we can click on the answer at the date like you can hear on the time now we are going to choose any date and now we are going to submit and we have answered the survey we have correctly answered the question number one and incorrectly added the date so that's it we have added a quiz to our site in a quick and easy manner using the quiz and survey master plugin if you like the video subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on the sites see you the next time on Paladec.